Did you buy a pet during the COVID crisis? You must have seen in the news so many of the numbers went up, people buying pets, whether it's a cat or a dog, etc, etc. In our Islam, we are taught to have ihsan in dealing with animals. There's great wisdom why the Prophet وسلم, and many of the Prophets had to deal with animals. There were, many of them were shepherds, many of them dealt with camels, many of them dealt with sheep, because these are creatures Allah made that you can do whatever you like to and nobody would know. Because they can't complain to anybody that you alone in the desert can be cruel to a creature, can neglect a creature, and nobody would know except for you and your consciousness. The Anbiya had this trade and there's a reason behind it and there's a wisdom behind that. There's a hadith of Rasulullah about the rights of animals. And even when we deal with the animals, there's a sense of ihsan, knowing that Allah is watching us. In a narration, the Prophet said, there was once a dog that was very, very thirsty. And it was going round a well, looking to quench its thirst somehow. It didn't want to go in, otherwise, otherwise it would fall in. And there, and it was about to die. And suddenly, this is a story from, the, from Bani Israel, that a woman who was a prostitute, she went down into the well, took off her shoe, and in those days they used to have leather shoes, filled it up with water, gave the water for the dog to drink. And it is reported that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgave her because of that act. And another hadith very similar to that, which is often recited as well, is the, where there was a man who was, a, who was walking on the road and he saw a dog really, really thirsty as well. And he went down into a well and similarly took off his sock, filled it up with water, water came out and gave the water to the dog to drink. The Sahaba who the Prophet ﷺ was informing, they said, O oh, Apostle of Allah, O oh, Ya, oh, ya Rasulullah, is there a reward for us in serving animals? And the Rasulullah ﷺ replied, Yes, there is a reward for serving any animate, any, any living being. So it wasn't just a dog or a cat that everybody becomes so, so cuddly and cute. Any animal, whether it's a hamster, whether it's a bird, whether it's a reptile, any creature, whether it's a large horse, it is our job. As, somebody, as, as an individual who wants to have, who has a sense of God consciousness, to treat animals with kindness and care. So this sense of looking after animals, whether you're outside, whether you're going to quench the, 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 the thirst of a little kitten outside, this is something a Muslim should have because you never know, this small act that you might think of might be your ticket to go to Jannah.